In this video, you will learn how to add an off canvas menu to your WordPress site using Beaver Builder. The problem is that when designing your website, you may wish to display additional links or content while still keeping your site's primary navigation minimal and uncluttered. The good news is you can help to improve user experience and make your site easier to navigate. Let's head over to my WordPress demo site and I'll show you how. Here's how to create an off canvas menu in WordPress. Before we begin, we will need to be sure that we have both the Beaver Builder and Ultimate Add-ons plugins installed and activated on our WordPress site. The Off Canvas module found in the premium version of Ultimate Add-ons allows you to design a flyout panel that can be triggered with either a button, text, image icon, or through any other module. In addition to menus, you can use it to display content, saved rows, saved modules, or saved page templates. In this example, I will show you how to use a saved row within the off canvas module that will be triggered by a button. The first step is to create your panel layout using Beaver Builder's saved rows feature. From your WordPress dashboard, navigate to Beaver Builder, add new. Here we want to give our builder content a unique title. In this example, I'm simply going to name it off canvas content. From the type dropdown, choose saved row from the list. Next, click on add saved row. In the next window, click on the launch Beaver Builder button to open up the editor. From here, we can drag and drop the desired Beaver Builder modules onto our page to design our layout. I'm going to add a heading. Next, I'll drag and drop in the price list found in Ultimate Add-ons so that we can list out our services. And finally, I'll drag in a button at the end of our menu. In the upper right hand corner of the page, click done and publish to save your changes. Once you have created your Beaver Builder saved row, it's time to add it to the Ultimate Add-ons off canvas module on your WordPress page. Either create a new page to display your off canvas module or open up an existing page in the Beaver Builder editor. In this example, I'm going to simply open our homepage, click on the launch Beaver Builder button to open up the editor. In the search field, type off canvas to search for the off canvas module. Now let's drag and drop the off canvas module onto the page. In the settings panel pop up, go to general content. For content type, select the type of content you would like to display. Here we can choose from the following content types, content, menu, saved rows, saved modules, or saved page templates. Since we just designed our saved row, we are going to choose saved rows. This will allow us to choose the off canvas content saved row that we designed in the first step. From the select row dropdown, choose the saved row. In our case, it's called off canvas content. The next step is to set a trigger within the ultimate add-ons off canvas module that when activated will display the off canvas panel. Navigate to the display settings tab to choose a trigger for the canvas. You can choose to display it on the click of a text, icon, image button, or any other element using CSS, class, and ID. In this example, we are going to choose button from the list. From here, we can further customize the off canvas module to fit our needs. Once we finish up, click save. In the upper right hand corner of the page, click done and publish to save your changes. Finally, check to see that your off canvas menu is working as expected. From the front end of your site, click to activate the trigger that you set, in this case, a button, and it should open up the flyout panel over the side of your page. And that looks really good. To keep watching, go ahead and click on the next video. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and click to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.